So Unify claims that the U7 Pro XGS can cover 1,750 square feet. We're gonna put that to the test. This is my home. It is a townhome centered around a bunch of other townhomes built in the 2010s. It has three floors. In this experiment, we're gonna be calling this the garage. There's internet of things here. There are 3D printers. Here, we're gonna call this the first floor. This is an open space. And this is the second floor. Bedrooms and bathrooms. I have two access points, but I'm gonna turn one off. The main access point we are gonna be testing will be right here. This is the U7 Pro XGS. It is black. The one I have up here is white, but we'll be turning that off. I'm gonna turn off all APs except for the one on the first floor. That's the middle floor in my home. I'm gonna keep all the AP options set to default. There are three core changes that I will change to combat against all the other APs that are in my neighborhood. One, I'm gonna set transmit power to high. Two, I'm gonna set custom channels so that they don't change during the different experiments. And finally, three, I'm gonna keep MLO on. I understand that MLO is finicky and it's kind of beta, but a lot of people get the Unify Wi-Fi 7 models for MLO, so I think it'd be good to see how it plays a part. To make sure I'm on the right band, I'm simply gonna to toggle these throughout the experiment. With that, let's get started. You'll see that 2.4 and 5 gigahertz perform fairly well throughout my home, but 6 gigahertz has a hard time maintaining signal. See how 6 gigahertz in an open space drops from excellent to good simply by stepping away. Now we're upstairs where the signal is firing behind the AP. I want you to see how our very first red line shows up and it's in the form of six gigahertz signal. And finally, we're in the garage. There are a lot of variables here, but with the AP firing down, it almost seems like 2.4 is performing better than when we were behind the AP. Five gigahertz seems to be kind of the same, but once again, six gigahertz is giving you pretty bad signal with pretty good throughput. And I think that's gonna be a problem. It doesn't matter how fast it is. If you can't maintain that signal, you will have issues. So we started off this experiment wondering if a Unify U7 Pro XGS could light up a 1,750 square foot home as it claims on their website. With a 1,500 square foot home, I think the answer is yes, with caveats. I think the 2.4 gigahertz channel performed pretty well. I think in its furthest areas in my home, it was giving us roughly one megabit per second. And I think that might be okay for very basic Internet of Things devices. I think a five gigahertz channel really shined. You could see how, whether I was upstairs or downstairs, I was getting really stable throughput and pretty decent signals. I think six gigahertz is the biggest caveat. I think even on the first floor in an open space, you saw the further we stepped away from the access point with line of sight, the signal and the throughput started to degrade really quickly. And so if your expectation is you're gonna get six gigahertz with a really strong signal and really fast uh, Wi-Fi throughput throughout the entire unit, I, I just don't see how that can be. So let me know your thoughts. If you would like me to run any other tests, please leave a comment. If this was useful to you, please drop a like and uh, consider subscribing. All right, y'all, let's stay connected. Peace.